this is Paul from Zagta, and uh, album's coming out, Primordial Mother, on the 19th of the 11th. Beautiful. Paul, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Chris. My pleasure, mate. So as you mentioned, Zagtar will be releasing your debut album, Primordial Mother, on November the 19th. So tell us a bit about the album from a musical point of view and what you were going for with it. Uh, we, we always endeavoured doing kind of an album that was a, a mid-paced, like Slayer album, South of Heaven, how they changed that mid-paced. So we wanted something around that. Bit of groove, bit of thrash, bit of punk metal, that type of thing. With uh, a thousand other things probably thrown into it. <laughs> and it follows on from your only other release, the EP Deadly Curve, which came out in 2017. So how does this album differ from that EP musically? Uh, musically, this one's uh, a lot heavier. We went with the harsh vocal. That one was kind of, we're going for a blend of something like, you know, Alice in Chains with a bit of thrash thrown into it. Uh, this time around, we just decided to go, like, we're just going to go full heavy. Uh, no real clean vocals or harsh vocals. And you mentioned it before, like, your style is predominantly listed as thrash metal, but you combine many different subgenres. You've got things like groove, there's thrash, there's punk. There's a lot there that goes into your sound. So what, what other influences are in there? Uh, that's a really good question. I think everything, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, oh, we, we don't really limit ourselves and what, we allow influence to come into the music so yeah sometimes it's really hard i i'm probably like a lot of artists i just prefer whoever's listening to the music to give their take where they think the influences came from but man it's really hard to nail it down yeah it is so with so many things going on there mate like in the writing process how hard is it to find the balance of all those genres to make the song still sound cohesive I don't find it that difficult. I just, you know, just have an idea of what the song should sound like in my mind. And I just keep uh, sort of working it until it fits where it's going. Just following the narrative of the groove. Once everything locks in, because I pretty much just write all the instruments myself. And then once I've got a complete song, I'll take to the boys and then we just like massage it a bit more. So it's more of a complete song. Okay, cool. So for those people out there who may not be familiar with Zagtar, mate, pick, say, three songs off the EP, or sorry, off the album coming out that you think best showcase the diversity in your sound and, and tell us about oh, it individually. That's a good, probably the first three songs, actually. So um, what's the first one? Amputate to Escape. Um, <sighs> Factory Farms of Human Sustenance and the title track, uh, Primordial Mother. They would probably encapsulate all the sound of the band in those three songs. Yeah. Hey, run, run us through each of them individually then and tell, tell us what you're going for with them. Okay, so Amputate, that starts pretty hard. It's uh, loosely based on that principle of escaping. Uh, like, I saw, actually, I got inspired from seeing this crab footage. Someone caught a crab and then actually cut its arm off to escape and I thought, wow, that's pretty yeah. cool, right? <laughs> yeah, right? And then I yeah, and then I looked at it from, like, the human perspective from the movies like Saw and the other movie where the guy's trapped under that rock. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. you know, it's, yeah, it's how, how much you're willing to, to live. What are you prepared to do to sacrifice? And also it's an emotional thing as well. Like, sometimes you have to um, cut something out of your mind that's happened previously to, uh, to progress to something new. That's the first one. So what about the second one? All right, Factory Farms, that's um, based upon that movie Soylent Green. So it's uh, in relation to humans in a dystopian future consuming their own flesh without knowingly uh, knowing that that was the process that was happening. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Which is pretty <laughs> freaky, right? You're being accountable without even knowing that you are. <laughs> I like it. What about the third one? Yeah, Primordial Mother, that's... Uh, AI based one, so based upon raised by the wolves. So uh, again, humanity has is initially well fundamentally flawed, really, that we just can't seem to break out of the cycle of um, killing ourselves. So we invent robots to raise us uh, from gestation up until you know adulthood. But what happens is the AI, if we don't follow their paradigm, then they start eliminating us 
So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a strange, yeah, it's a strange twist of fate that it sort of comes that full circle. Yeah, cool. So being your debut album, like what sorts of things as a band do you discuss going into it? Like do you, do you put a collection of your best songs on there? Do you just chuck whatever you've got on there? Do you, is there any sort of aim or any goal, I guess, or do you just put out your, what, what's best? Uh, we just, yeah, we just put out the songs that we think best represented us as a band. You know, the ones that we enjoy playing. There are a few others there that fell by the wayside and, you know, sometimes you you know you you'll play songs at gigs too, and the ones that sort of don't cut the mustard, we might leave those out. And yeah, an album that's not too long, not too short, just um, and something that carries the same theme sort of throughout the album, mm-hmm. like musically. Like the next album is going to be different again. Yeah. So we'll see where that takes us. Sweet. And Zagtar actually formed back in 2016. So it's been a six year journey to your debut album. Why so long? Uh, I think because we didn't really find the sound that we were looking for. We had a few lineup changes. And then uh, over time, I guess we just settled on something that we thought uh, represented us and we all enjoyed playing. Simple as that, eh? And you haven't played yeah, live shows either. So um, is that going to change now the album's coming out? Are you going to hit the road a bit? More? Um, Yes and no. I think we practice the scarcity principle. I think, you know, less is kind of better for us. We, you know, we get asked to play a lot of gigs and we knock them back because we just don't want to oversaturate uh, the local market anyway. But we're planning on touring next year, East Coast, and uh, hopefully uh, international tour. Yeah, cool. So, like, with Primordial Mother coming out now, like, effectively, Zagtar is being introduced to the world with this album. So where do you think the band's going to fit into the current musical landscape of metal? Ah, uh, that's a very good question, Chris. <laughs> I think, um, I think anyway, we could probably hop on any show. Like, we're not super extreme metal, and we're not soft, so we could play with, that, you know, any metalcore band, extreme metal, thrash band. I think we've actually got elements of all those types of uh, sub-genres to sort of go on any bill. And reading through your uh, bio and your press release, mate, there's a great quote in there that says that you guys play heavy metal for enjoyment. Like, I think that's something that's been lost along the lines in modern music, especially, like the actual enjoyment of playing for that reason. Yeah, uh, 100% agree. Like, we kind of have a mantra in our band is we don't, we don't worry about people making mistakes. We play for fun. Um, yeah, we're not worried about posing or anything. We just be ourselves on stage. We don't leave anything left on the night. And, uh, yeah, we hope that the crowd picks up on that when we play. Sweet. And so what's next for Zagtar? The album comes out this, what is it, this Friday, is it? November 19th? Yeah. Uh, this, yeah, this Saturday, actually. Okay. So you got any launch parties planned or any, any gigs planned to celebrate? Yeah, so we've got the 19th and 11th at the back room. Uh, we've jumped on with Dark Law. They're in and Magnetron. Oh, nice. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, should be a few people turn up. And, uh, you know, obviously you want to thank all the people that helped you along the way on the on the journey to sort of get there. And will uh, there be physical copies of the album for sale on that? There will be. Yep. There'll be CDs there as well as, uh, you know, obviously digital downloads. We may have vinyl there too. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we've we we're one of the first bands to jump on the suitcase records here in Brisbane. And so hopefully that is ready for Saturday, fingers crossed. Otherwise people can pre order that. And where do people pre order the album if they can't make Saturday night? Uh they just contact us on Facebook. Yep, yeah, Zagtar at Facebook and uh message us and we'll we'll get a copy out to them. Beautiful, Paul. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. I've had a listen to the album before this interview, and she's an absolute cracker. So if you're in <laughs> Brisbane, I suggest you get along Saturday night. If not, get yourself a copy online, mate. But I look forward to catching up with you soon. Cheers, Chris. Appreciate it, mate.